Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a tripwire laser system. Alright, so to make this project you will need an Arduino. I did a video on this a while back, so if you're unsure what this is, go check that out. Next you're going to need a mini electric speaker, a USB cable, a few of these breadboard wires, and a 9 volt battery clip. Now all this stuff came with the Arduino that I bought, and if you're interested I've included the link in the description. Also, you will need some electrical tape, a solar panel, this is just from a cheap $1 garden light, a multi-tool, and a laser. Now, this is a high-powered laser, but it will work with the 5 milliwatt lasers that are more commonly found. And finally, a box to house it in. Now, this should be big enough to hold the Arduino and the solar panel. Now, first step is to take two of your jumper wires and attach them to the leads on the solar panel. Next, take your box and cut a hole big enough for the solar panel to fit through. Then push your solar panel up through the hole. Now take some electrical tape and cover everything but the center part of the solar panel. The hole should only be about a centimeter in diameter. This is to block out any extra light and make sure that it works. Next take the two jumper wires coming off the solar panel and connect them to the A0 and ground pins on the Arduino. Now put the Arduino into the box and connect the mini speaker. The longer end of the speaker should go into pin 11 and the shorter end should go to ground. Now put a battery in the battery clip and plug it into the Arduino. I had to make a hole in order to do this because the box wasn't big enough. Now the next thing you need to do is go on your computer and upload the code to Arduino. To do that just copy the content of the file in the description and paste it into a new window. Now if you don't have the software just go over to arduino.cc and download it from there. Then upload the code to your Arduino Open up the serial monitor in the top right corner, then shine the laser on the hole in the solar panel and see what the reading is. Whatever your reading is with the laser, pick a number that's just a little less than that and replace the number right next to the threshold. So now if the light reading ever is any lower than that, the tripwire will be activated. Once you've got that all figured out, just hit the upload button and you're good to go. Alright, let's go try it out. So it's only around 5 feet apart here, but the good thing about this is it can cover very large distances. So, as soon as I break the laser beam, the light stops shining on the solar panel, and the Arduino reads that and triggers the speaker. So, there you have it, a working laser tripwire. Now, if you wanted to make this an invisible alarm, just use a 5 milliwatt laser so the beam is not visible, and instead of adding a speaker right where they are, Extend the wires out to where you are. So, if you like this video and want to see more, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.